Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and what you're looking at might look a little crazy because it's still wrapped up, but we're going to talk about the 16 grid system from Saner Direct on Amazon.com. This is a diamond painting tool that is super cool. It is made of wood. It's basically a multi-boat tray holder for your diamond painting boats. And that is what we call the little trays like this that we use when we're diamond painting. So for those of you who like to have multiple trays out at one time when you're diamond painting, unlike me who is totally inefficient when it comes to, I always use one color, put it back, one color, put it back. And that is really inefficient. Now, I'm not saying you have to be a speed diamond painter. <laughs> But um, this should help me speed up my process and have it out when I'm ready to go back to my diamond painting. If I have to put it off for a while, I will have everything set up. But this cool tool is also really pretty. And so it looks nice setting out. So it doesn't look messy. Like you've got a bunch of random trays sitting around when you are working on a project and you have to just leave it out it's nice it's aesthetically pleasing so what i'm going to show you today is not necessarily how to use it because that's kind of self-explanatory but i thought i would show you how to build it and then you know how to work with it efficiently okay before i get a snarky comment <laughs> i realize i have a wooden uh, project on top of a wooden background. So give me a minute. We're going to switch out the background, but um, I am going to show you how to install this piece, how to build it, but there are also very clear instructions on the Amazon site for Santa Direct, and it will show you how to do that as well. But I do want to go through this process step by step to make sure it's clear and to make sure you know what to do once you get your tray holder. So let's talk about what components we have in the kit and what we're going to need to put this together. You're going to have one piece that's got the eight little slots in it like this one. You're going to have one that's going to have solid no slots in it at all. We're going to have three pieces that have the holes on the right side like this. We're going to have two what I'm going to call the end pieces because I believe these are the ones that are going to go in the end. They're a little larger than these three here and that means we're going to have three center pieces here. Then you're also going to have a bag of these little clear elastic type rubber bands and that is what should be in your package in addition to the trays that I mentioned earlier. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here with the slats and we want to make sure that the slats here are closest to the bottom. We're going to take this solid piece here we're going to place the tabs in the back into the slats like that. So I'm going to take the band and I'm going to stretch this over that tab and that is going to lock it into place. And I'm going to take this band and do the same thing. And that is going to lock that base securely into place. Now I'm going to go ahead and take these and kind of flip them over because I want them to be in the right position when I'm ready for them. We want our holes on the right side, our tabs on the back like this. And I'm going to go ahead and place the tabs in the next set of slots like that, flip it over, and I'm going to go ahead and add the rings to hold those tabs in place. And I'm going to repeat this step with these last two pieces. So this is what we have so far. Now it's not going to have its stability until we get our sides and our center pieces in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add our center partitions and I'm going to make sure that each one of these shelves here are going in between the slats here. 
and all the way back. Now the sides, you'll notice there's a tab on the back, a tab on the bottom. So all you're gonna do is line up with the slats here and here for the sides. And you're gonna make sure that these shelves go into these slats here as well. Now there's not gonna be rubber bands to hold these in place. All right, let's do the last side. And you can see that this is a very easy installation. I don't even know if we can call it an installation, but it's very easy to put together. Well, damn it, there goes the other one. We should have known better than to have Melanie <laughs> demonstrate our product. <laughs> I'm afraid to put this last one on. I'm so scared. <laughs> what if something happens to this one? I found this one. This is the first one that went flying. And it's not their fault, okay? They should not have to include extra rubber bands because they're dealing with me. I mean, that. <laughs> you guys hold on to these things. I'm telling you. They are slippery little suckers. I don't know which one to put on. I don't know which one's more important, but I had hurt my thumb, and so I didn't put nail polish or anything on it, and I don't have any nails, and I'm like super afraid that this one's gonna go flying, and oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna try to do it on this one. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think it's very secure though. I can use just any kind of rubber band on that. I don't have one right here with me, but we're gonna just go with that. Yeah, so right now it feels very good. If I, I'll have time to look for that other one later, but that was my fault. So now this is how we would use our cool little tool. And I'm going to show you. So here I'm just going to tilt it up a little bit to show you that. Now they've given us enough of the boats or the trays. I've always called them trays. You call them whatever you would like for them to store right in here. A lot of people I know will just take a Sharpie and mark which color they are using at the time on the tray itself. And that's how they, you know, keep up with which one it is. Because you can actually see, and I'm going to tilt it up a little bit to show you, you can actually see the front of each tray right there. And that's how they do it. Now you can label it how you want, but how cool is this little unit? I just love this idea. So you've got 16 different trays here or boats that you can have at any one time. So you can switch out uh, and do an entire area. So for those of you who like to work and not have to shift out and forth, you know, back and forth and whatever, what an amazingly efficient way to go and it looks so pretty i mean it looks so nice just sitting there with your decor that it's not an eyesore you know so i'm going to get a couple of little things and just stick them down in here to see what all would fit and then i will be done with this video so i wanted to see if my adapters would fit here which they will which is nice because i like to have my adapters you know nearby um i like that those will fit in there with the grip on them and the grip actually will fit down in there as well. So that's cool. And these will go, you know, all the way down. The grip fits all the way down as well. So that's cool. Now I wanna see if, oh, my little fat guy works in there too. Ah! All right, let me tilt this up. So we've got our thicker drill pins for those of you who have those. We have our regular drill pins, even with the, the grip on them, those fit down in there as well. And then I also have my adapters, or let's just say you don't have the grip on there and the regular drill pin will fit all the way down to the bottom. So there you go, you guys. How amazing is that? 
I love this. And I'm sure you will love it too. So I'll be sure to give you a link in the bottom as to how you can go purchase this item and a lot of other really cool diamond painting tools that will help you be more efficient and have storage ideas and other things that will help you with your diamond painting endeavors. So be sure to check those out. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and give me a comment on what you think of this really cool system. And I will see you back soon. Thanks as always for watching.